Oh, goats. T.I. When I be coming to. Oh. He ain't no goat. Looks like T. T. I. T. I. Uh. T. I. Kings. Uh, T. I. Announces his last performance is in December. I do not need to perform. I, I do not this need guy money cut anymore. From the show co-host. No man, it's my favorite rapper. Why my favorite rapper get cut from the show? Because he's a deviant. You a hater. But nah. Uh. But it's we gonna play the video right here. Basically, uh, T. I. Announcing that performing at Jingo Balls in December 2019 will be one of his last performances. And then I'm gonna tell you what uh what other information he told us about uh, our winner. main attraction at Jingle Ball December yes, 19th. We mm-hmm. appreciate you, sir. Man, I appreciate y'all. And you posted the flyer too. You like I don't even know that was in the what contract. And nobody me? posted but the king. Nah, man. But I appreciate y'all, man. For you know what I'm saying for uh, offering me. Uh, my last uh, working gig because I wow do not need the money anymore and I will not be performing. So you guys, uh, y'all have. So this is your last one. Yeah, they're gonna be. I don't want to do it anymore. What? This is your last performing show. Yeah, I don't want people to pay me to hop around and sweat for their entertainment. He said that before. He said that before. So I'm picking up all. Wait, wait. wait, So it's gonna be for me. They got the same hairstyle. You heard him say that before. Is it cap or is he for real? Ain't cap. I just heard him say it before. I'm picking picking up. (laughs) I will be picking up all tip shows that he ain't going to (laughs) doing them all. But will you do anything for the PSC? Of course. Okay, okay. I'm going to answer the phone to tell them that I will not be performing. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's funny. So, I mean, so T.I. will be performing at Jingle Ball in December in, uh, at the State Farm Arena with T-Pain, Sexy Red, Sweetie, Khalid, uh, Tanache, and the kid Leroy. So you want some jingle balls? Nah. So I mean, so with this being said, I mean, Ti it does have some album. He has one more album coming out that he has been hinting at. It's gonna be a double disc, a double album. That's a double disc. It's gonna be a double album where it's gonna say "Kill the King." The other one's gonna be "Kiss the King." Surprised that- he didn't say from you know, your double tape. Horrible. Nah, but uh, tape. horrible. But everybody knows that Ti just won a seventy-one million dollar lawsuit against no for the O F for the OMG. They're Girls. gonna dispute it. I mean, he gonna he, he gonna get something. He gonna settle. They gonna I mean they gonna keep taking the court. They gonna eventually settle. Uh, I mean he's gonna get twenty million out of seventy-five. What's the lowest you think he'll get? Eight. I mean it's still. I mean it's still free money or none. We gonna get, I mean, they proved it right. I mean, they, they, it was images and likeness of his daughter, and they grouped the OMG girls. They proved that. They proved that point. But I mean, we got. They're we gonna got, pull a fifty cent and never pay him. Uh, we. I mean, uh, other we'll, we'll, we'll see. Who knows? You never know what a company. We never. They, they might just pay it just to make the headache go away. But. Uh, but who feel? is the what well, question goes? Who is the king of trap music? So when you're thinking of trap music, a Ti came out in the early two thousands. Who do you consider? The trap, the trap guys. Is it Gucci Man? Is it Ross? Was well, it not Ross? Jeezy. Ross. Is it what you think? Uh, Player Circle. Well, well, Eight Ball and MJG. No, for me, because like that's uh, whenever I got into rap music is when uh, trap music was going on. Mm-hmm. And um, for me personally, y'all can say whatever what y'all personally is. It's Gucci. Mm. To me, Gucci had the biggest chokehold on the game. He had all of his artists going big, especially once Waka Flocka started popping mm-hmm. and OJ the Juice. It's like Brick Squad was rocking. And uh, he, is, is, he had so many classic tapes, like in a five year period. Mm-hmm. He put out like 20, 25 of classic tapes, man. Like Gucci couldn't be stopped in his era. And, and like with DJ Holiday and Trapaholics, you know, real trap shit. It, I'm, Damn, son, where'd you find this? I, I, exactly. I, what are you talking about? T.I. ended little flip career. Number one. <laughs> number one. Number two, also, you know, he had the Paper Trail album, the I'm Serious album, No Mercy. He had Justin Timberlake on there singing for him after he caught those charges with the guns. Come on, now, ain't nobody doing that. I was I was mainly into rock music in uh, middle school. You didn't So, um... You see ATL? I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like that's what, where I like kind of saw him from. Whatever songs that he made it that got big mm-hmm. on MTV, you can I have whatever see. you like. Yeah, like yeah. Of course, I saw that. But yeah, the ATL, like that movie, like that movie was a big movie. Like I remember that being. You didn't see American Gangster? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. You saw Takers with him, Chris Brown, and um. I remember that movie coming out, but no, I didn't see it. And the Ant Man. No, I didn't see Takers. 
horrible. He had, he had Ant Man. I seen I seen him in Ant, the Ant Man movie, but he wasn't in the new one, the second one. They killed his character. I think so. I mean, he he was in legal trouble. He was in those legal troubles, but I mean, oh yeah, because wasn't wasn't he getting uh, like Epstein like charges? Yeah, basically him. But he it was with him and his wife, like him and. How his, did he go from Epstein charges to winning he a beat char- him. to winning a lawsuit against a toy company? <laughs> I mean, that's it was, crazy. Work. They said it was consensual. The girls couldn't prove it, but I mean, hey, t- so t- shout out to Ti, man. He's been in he's been in the rap game for a long, long time, man. I got so many songs that I listen to that's from Ti. I still listen to him. Ti is not your if favorite. If it ain't about this, he's he my top five. No, but he's not your one. I mean, was Rick Ross. No, it's not. Who is it? Jeezy. Nah, Jeezy is. Ah. Rick Ross is your favorite Florida person that was. Big. No, Rick Ross is my favorite rapper. Yeah, it's Lupe Fiasco. We all know Lupe that. Fiasco's number like thirty. No, no, it's um, <sighs> Sean Paul. No, what's that big Florida rapper? Kodak, Rod Wave, Gucci. Flo Rida. Your favorite rapper is Flo Rida, and you can't hide it. No, nah, I listen to Pitbull way before I listen to Flo Rida. But y'all comment down below how y'all feel about true. y'all comment down below how y'all feel about Ti career. Is he one of the greatest trap music, trap rappers out of uh, the South or overall period? I mean, also coming down I your favorite. Like, I feel like he was like a forefather, mm-hmm. but I feel like he was already kind of like he set the tone. But I felt like as far as like real trap music, that was like Gucci. That was like OJ to Juice. Like, well, that was Waka Flocka. Like, that's real. That's like Wu the Kid. He had a whole album called Trap Music. I know, but still. <laughs> All right, well, let me know if my co host is right, but let me tell you it's what. It's like uh, Gucci had a Trap House. Trap House and Trap Back? Yeah, Trap House, yeah. Did. They had Trap, wasn't it just Trap House? Trap House 1, 2, 3? I think so. A Trap Back jumping? No, Trap Back? I remember when that was one That was one of them. Uh, he had the. The the Gucci Man and Jail Tapes. He had the State versus Roderick Davis. Roderick yeah, that Davis that too. was like his uh his, his like big he, album album where he had, he had like Mariah the, Carey on the song. Mm-hmm. He had um uh, he he introduced Young Thug. He had the Young Thug, the ten seventeen Thugger tape. He had the Molly Pills, Molly Pills and Lean tape. He did a song with him in Future Free Bricks. That was you remember that one? Oh yeah, it was Trap House. The Trap House tapes were epic, one through four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then he had the uh, Trap God. Yes. The Trap God tapes. He was going. He and- had the Gas, the Molly, the Lean. Yeah, Trap House 3 is one of the best. East, uh, yeah, East Atlanta. Yeah, Trap God 2, Trap God 1. I'm up. I mean, if G- if, if, G- if uh, Gucci Man didn't go. I like, I, no, no, no. One of them, of course, because, you know, it's Chico two times. Gucci two times, baby. It's one of the greatest mixtapes ever. Facts. Uh, Brick Squad Mafia was really good. Mr. Zone 6. Because, see, I'm talking about, like, 2010. Mm-hmm. You're probably talking about, what, like, 04, 05? Yeah, 04, 05. Yeah, no, no. Like, I, I feel like that was, like, early, early trap music. But real trap music is, like, is, is like, uh, Gucci, I mean, DJ Holiday. That's I, So Icy song. When he came up with the So Icy, so icy. the, um... Yeah, a whole bunch of other songs. I forgot. I can't remember all the other songs off my top of my head. But y'all comment down below who y'all favorite uh, trap rapper is. But moving on here, man, it's time to talk about the last uh, topic of the day. I mean, yeah, Gucci even had Trap House in 05. So that was like the same time. 